All right, so should we do Metro Nui or Mask of Light? Oh, we'll do Mask of Light, I think. I prefer Metro Nui, but... Do either of us look well, like we have any fucking idea what you're talking about? Well, one says... One has a two after it, so I yeah, think... Yeah, but this one's actually a prequel. Go... Ah! So, okay. So, so, here's the most important thing you need to know about Bionicle lore. It's fucking stupid, and the second most important thing you need to know is it's multimedia. As in... There is no one source of media to get all of the lore. It's mostly separate stories that are all canon. <laughs> the three movies cover phases two, three, and four. Phase one is done by the Flash games. <laughs> Phase two is... it's... We'll watch the first movie. Heavens, carrying we the ones called the Matoran. This paradise. We were separate. Now this is actually a lie, but kind of true. It was actually a ugly <laughs> goblin man from space who did this. We the Makuta is actually the same seven. guy as that little goblin man from space. The Makuta was free. What to was he? Uh... His shadow. What was he's changed his outlook on life? I'm okay. Let me. Let me. Did he like? Is he, like, returning to his little webcomic after a bad breakup? So the Bionicle and lore is basically... Fuck up. Uh, you don't give a fuck about all the twists and turns of it, I assume. <laughs> I'd just like to understand uh, the bare basics, you know. Teach me what 2 plus 2 is. <clears throat> okay, so basically, Bionicle Island, the entire world, is actually a giant robot designed to, that. to stop evil. And so a little... Oh. Yeah. And so the Bionicles are biological, mechanical creatures. They're designed to keep the robot island alive. But Makuta, the fucking little... One of the creator guys that were doing it. I, if I remember correctly, he was just a robot. Not a biomechanical creature. Created by the creators, who were human things. But basically he was like, hey, I'm gonna put in a virus thing to give myself control of all of the Makoran and be god, basically. So he wants to take over the giant robot. But he's also kind of the reason why the they have sentience to begin with. Because he fucked up and his mind control program accidentally gave them free will. And then he got banished for a billion years. And then now he's back. And, uh, right. Takua! He's got more rocks in his head than a Pomatoran. Takua! Ah! <laughs> let me show you what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Um... Uh, let me show you what a normal Matoran looks like. So this is what they oh. actually look like. Uh, here's the Flash game that they come with. <laughs> So if you want to know the lore of this movie, you need to play the Flash game first. We're not playing the Flash game. This is so I'm exactly actually the experience like a, I was hoping for. I was going to say, this is like actually a college, university, Bionicle 101. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Yep. Uh, and I'll admit... That first explanation, I zoned out a bit, so I'm I'm already lost. I'm, I'm a lost. <laughs> don't worry, I don't blame you. I zoned out while saying it. It is very much that experience of having like a younger sibling or a much younger cousin take you into their specific interest, and mm -hmm. they just refuse to shut up and let you actually understand and enjoy the movie. Like, he's actually like really, really strong. He's just he's just hiding it, and we see this in like a in another completely different thing that changed up all the law. Yeah. I actually was thinking that before. I was just like, how is it? If, if I, what if I actually was a child and <laughs> I was listening to what Nate's telling me? Like, Nate, Nate pauses every time. It's like, actually, child, this is what the real lore is. <laughs> just... <laughs> actually... Do you think that child is going to come out okay? <laughs> actually, he's the... Um, I won't spoil the movie, actually. That's rude. I'll let you in. Okay, um, see. Only lore spoilers, not movie spoilers. <laughs> see a little bit better. A great Kanohi mask. So Kanohi masks are the little masks they wear. 
Let me get and... let me get my notebook out first before you. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 It's my notepad. Now, students, <laughs> something important to know: bionicle lore, foundational thing. The Kenobi masks. They have two properties. They have an elemental property and a power. Now, uh, Kenobi masks can have various things like invisibility flight, and that's determined by their shape, and their element is determined by their color. And only uh, Toa, who are the big boys, they're able to wear Kanoe masks, even though the little guys, they also wear Kanoe masks. They're not great Kanoe masks, they're lame Kanoe masks. Understand? Good. Could you run that by me again? Basically, uh, he's a shit lord, and we need a big boy to wear the mask and be epic and cool. Tremendous. Also, uh, some lore for you. In the Flash games, he's the Chronicler, and you play as that guy in the Flash games. And he's basically just a little guy who goes around doing shit and just going, Oh my god, the Toa! Holy shit! And that's basically all he does in the Flash game, plus solve some puzzles and stuff. Hold your Rahi! I'm coming! And Rahi are basically the animals Here, in this world. <laughs> so that crab, so that's a what? Rahi. So, how did Hold Your Rahi become a part of the vernacular <laughs> exactly? What, can you it's like Hold Your Horses. The basis for that? Uh, you gotta hold the crabs. Okay. Hold your horses, hold your Rahi, you know. Hold your, hold your crabs, okay. There's Tahu. Uh, he's ostensibly like the main character of Gen 1 and Gen 2. As in, like, the main Toa, because he's the red guy. Everyone loves the red guy. Mm. And he has the Mask of Shieldling. The Great Kanoe Mask of Shielding, as you can see. No kidding. Mm. Also, that silver armor. Uh, he's technically like Digivolved, basically, and has already. Uh, yeah, this is this is Gen Two. So this is the second he's wave of toys. He's already going through his character arc. Yeah, <laughs> that all happened in the Flash game. Ah. Okay, so the Chronicler is the blue guy. Who's the little golden guy? Ah, fuck! I forget his name. Oh, I, I guess I he's not that important ah. then. Yeah. Uh, he becomes oh, a crap. Toa in Gen 6, I think. In the Xbox 360 game. Oh yeah, they're gonna play um, Bionicle Football. Or Lacrosse. Where's your hammer? It's Lacrosse playing Tool. So it's a hammer and the uh, metal net? You'll, you'll see. You'll see. The rules are very simple. You don't need simple. the hammer part if you want to whack somebody over the head with their own. Lacrosse racket. No, no. Yeah, Kobli. So there are four tribes. Uh, five. There's fucking three tribes that anyone gives a fuck about. And also, every single blue is a woman. And there are no women mm -hmm. in any other tribes. Do they have to intermix? Or is it just kind of a. We, we build new people? They, they don't build new people, actually. Uh, new people, they don't That's actually- That's like the one more that I do know. Yeah, there, there's no way to actually make new uh, Matoran at this point. At this point? At this point. So sex is like a massive scientific breakthrough? Uh, no, I mean... <clears throat> or is it a bit more like a Greek situation, where the Greeks discovered sex, and then the Romans discovered you could have it with women? <laughs> uh, also, they consider themselves like siblings. Why? Basically, so they came out of the ocean together. Just kind of fucking from nowhere. As far. At this point in the story, I think they don't know where they've come from, except from the great Makuta, or no. The great fucking whatever his name is, I keep forgetting. Also, there was a cool lawsuit in New Zealand, because uh, a lot of these words were just stolen from the Maori language and used in a very... So, like, the... Uh, Matoran? I think... I can't remember if Matoran is the... Fuck, what are they... They, they, I'm forgetting exactly what the name is. I'll I'll put the thing up here, but basically, they called like the basic villages like the Pope, basically, <laughs> like oh. the Maori word for you know, spiritual whatever fucker. Uh, okay, yeah. So Jala, that's a yellow face guy, and the Chronicler, otherwise known as Takua, is the blue face guy. I haven't done yellow face yet. Nothing gets by the captain of the guard, unless he wishes it. In mind. Sex. They can't reproduce at this stage. So they have no was genitals. She, was she essentially flirting with her brother? Uh, no. I, no. 
They're not all brothers and sisters, they're not. They're, they're, they're not all brothers and sisters? Just the Toa. Which are the big boys, the big warrior cool guys. Okay. So are they going for points, or are they going to eliminate the other team? They're going for points, yeah. Whoever gets the most points is... Whoever gets three points or something wins, and they're cool. But it's a three-way match, so you can just kind of... The two stronger teams would just gun for the weaker team to see who you can get there first. Yeah. Which is why they're both bullying Brown. <laughs> Very silly sport. Yeah. Come on, they're they're primitive culture. They've existed for like thirty years up to this point, I think, or a hundred years. Also, um, Macor, uh, These guys, they're also immortal unless they get killed. They don't age or anything. Then why do we have boomers? Uh, well, yeah, because they used to be Toa, but then they gave up their cool Toa power to brainwash everyone. Kind of. <laughs> Release them from eggs. That that was a very loaded sentence you just said. <laughs> I... Yeah. Good shooting yourself, Holly. Not bad. For a Gamatora. <laughs> For a ga. That means a water Good to see that sexism is still alive and well in their culture. <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's also sexism and, and racism. And racism. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, together at last. <laughs> now, class, for bonus points, who is the wielder of the Mask of Light based on that scene? Oh hey boy, I wonder. For bonus points, <laughs> for for bonus points, he 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 gets to become a Toa later. He becomes part of the Toa Nika, which was my favorite. They're from 2006. They were the Xbox 360 Bionicle Heroes game, and uh, they yeah they're just cool looking. And so the thing about the Toa Nika is that basically, in terms of Toa, they're like uh, genetic abominations. <laughs> They got mutated by lightning, uh, by right. radioactive devil lightning, basically. And so they're like freakish abominations, but they're also really fucking strong. What does this society do? If they're immortal, they don't have to eat or anything. Like, they're keeping those occupied with sports. Are they building shit? Are they. Yeah, they've, they've got little camps. They've got little. Basically, just trying to uh, fill. Little the... camps, huh? Is that where the other two clans went? <laughs> No, one of them's in the mines. That's the black ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the, the black ones are stone, and the brown ones are earth. Of course they're stone. <laughs> yeah, they have black and brown. They have stone and earth. Basically, uh, above ground and below ground. That's the, that's the distinction. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we don't just have fucking fire, water, air, and earth. We've got fucking sandy loam. We've got <laughs> silt. We've got clay. <laughs> <laughs> and colors of dirt. So, from memory, we have fire, which is red. We have ice, which is white. We have water, which is blue. Mm -hmm. We have earth, which is brown. We have stone, which is black. Mm -hmm. We have air, which is green. And yeah, mm -hmm. which is like kind of cyanish. Uh, there was actually a Minus. leaked seventh, not leaked. There's a fake leak in like 2001 of the seventh Toa, which was purple and was lightning, and it was a very mm -hmm. shitty Photoshop. <laughs> but people believed it until this movie came out, I think. Oh yeah, here's the guy. <laughs> the guy. The guy. So, he's actually the guy that started all of this bullshit. Oh. I suppose he, he's the one who's kept the giant robot from waking up after for like a million billion years. So these are little, um, so these are Rocky. Which are basically like evil, evil Toa. Rashi, Rashi or Rocky? I forget. They're they're cool. They're cool guys. They were the first uh, Bionicles to have knees. <laughs> so what did he? I mean, I know he just created that, but. Uh, what was the mechanism for that exactly? Basically, you put the snake in the mech suit, and it pilots it. 
Pre yeah, pretty much exactly that. See, uh, there's actually like kind of theological, biblical implications. You know, God took legs away from snakes because you know Satan did a funny. Uh, so yeah, he's putting like the legs back on Satan. Oh. But so let's see types of rashiki. I'm as hell. <laughs> um. They just. Oh yeah, they turn into bikes. Started flying. Yeah, they turn into uh. bikes. So, um, there are about like thirty different types of rashiki. Uh, do, do do let me give you just a quick list. So we have accuracy, uh, bl which is blue body with purple limbs. We have adaption, which is black body with purple limbs. We have anger, which is white body and limbs. And we have chain lightning, which is silver body and limbs. The real ones are darkness, electricity, gravity, magnetism, plant control, plasma. Sonics and vacuum. It's a bit fucking. <laughs> we have direction. We have rage. We have instant death. These are the elements. <laughs> well, the evil elements, I guess. Yeah, evil, like limited invulnerability. Is a blue snake a lady snake too? Oh, let me get back. Oh, that's to a the... valid question. That's a valid question. <laughs> No, I don't think the bait. They, I don't think they have a gender. I think their gender is snake. Here he is, jungle Toa. To Toa of air. Yeah. <laughs> but he only uh, I guess if I just made him. But he only hangs out in the jungle. That doesn't. That makes it a little confusing. But there's, there's a lot of air know, in the jungle, don't you see? Where did Where do you think I, air comes from? The trees. Oh, you know what? Never mind. The <laughs> fucking algae in the ocean, you absolute twit. If you ride with me, there'll be no foot walking, just air flying. Oh. I pointed out his voice for a reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, as a bird. Which lets him to fly. <laughs> Go home, crab. Oh, oh! Why did we just? Why? He's sad. Sad crab. <laughs> Heart promise. Heart promise. Okay. All right. Stop pulling the things. Is that just how? That's just how he talks. That's just how he talks. Yeah. Is it him or like all the green ones? I don't know. I don't remember if that's a movie thing or a a green guy He's thing. Like the next generation tall boy gonna be fucking poor oh, lady. No, the the previous generation tall boy, he was like, um, oh fuck, he's just a cunt. He's an asshole. He's the best character in the movie. It's great. In the next movie, the green guy is mm, my favorite character. <sighs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> all the ice guys are kind of assholes. They're yeah, that's why that. And That's all... why I say he's the coolest one. Yeah, and they also all suffer immensely. The element is hereditary. What about the masks? Uh, you, you can you just find like, them. As so... in, there's always going to be a pillar of fire or water, but what about the mask of light? Does that like just kind of jump between them, or is it only going to really be well, I mean, ever he currently... one Toa that has a mask of light? Well, he currently, the Toa of Fire, has the mask of shielding, so he can just take off his mask and get a new one. They don't do it in this movie at all. But in the oh. Flash game, they oh. did it a bunch. They just constantly kept switching out masks. Sick. Okay. Yeah, and just like, oh yeah, I have the power. I have the mask of super speed, so now I wear it. I, I thought you said speed. it became their face. Yeah, it does. It like fused. It does. But they can still swap it out. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah. Oh, so that's what you mean when they're the the assholes? He just. He saves them, he's like, yeah, alright, fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm pretty sure all the ice guys are just kind of dicks, except the one guy that is dying forever at the bottom of the ocean. I forget, do they eat? No. I can't remember if they eat. I feel like they eat some stuff. Why would they need to eat? Good, because they're m biological. They need to get energy from something. I keep forgetting that they have a biological component. Which part is that again? Like, what is the bio aspect of them? Uh, I honestly, I don't know why they are from a lore perspective. 
I know from wow. the meta narrative perspective, it's because the guy was like biological chronicle, but they had to make them out of Lego, so they said they're robots, but also biological robots. Like you can kind of see like fleshy stuff inside of them. Like he has abs there. Yeah, that, I was. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's interesting. Yeah. My brain's just filled with Paraka rap right now, I'll be honest. You know, I was meaning to ask, how, how does that fit into the lore, too? Yes. <laughs> it does. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They're the to they're the fa foes of the Toa Nika. So they're basically like a set of evil Toa. They're just, uh, they, their plot is mainly in the Xbox 360 game. What's going on here? He's, he's getting a suck, is he? Yeah, I think he's. Is that at his strength? Uh, no, I think he, uh, he's. I think he might be real hungry or afraid or something. I don't know. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. He was kind of incapacitated on the ground. Is yeah, that... from hungry. He's so hungry. You have a hammer on the end of that thing. But he's not using that. Why is he fucking using the spoon end? <laughs> and he gets the. Uh, sucks shit. Yeah, you should have just run away like you usually do. <laughs> yep. Worse than Oh, useless. there's our boy. <laughs> Tahu! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tahu's not doing too good right now. Come on, girl. Girl. Oh, it's a girl crab. Yeah, okay. lady crab. <laughs> You never told me it was a lady crab. <laughs> I'm sorry, everything. I. The only. I don't pay attention to crab gender. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's not what interests me in Bionicle lore. Not. Not into that armored Chrissy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, in all of these movies, it's always the red guy's fault. In all three of these movies, the red guy just fucks everything up for everyone. Right, okay, so there's a thing called the Red Star. Which basically tells the future, and it's also it contained the mechanism that allowed the Great Spirit robot Mata Nui to travel from planet to planet. The star also served as a means of re resurrecting the deceased beings in the Matorian universe. Their bodies were teleported to the Red Star, where their bodies were either repaired or the consciousness were transplanted into a new body. Yeah. Right. In other words, any beings who died on Mata Nui or left few solid remains could not be revived, and thus remain dead permanently. Yeah, okay, so the Mentoran universe is like, basically being inside the robot. And currently they're on top of the robot. So after this in the timeline, you have to play the GameCube game. Uh, and the GameCube game fucking sucked. Damn, that is, that is a shame. They could absolutely <clears throat> lean more into the Irish aspect of it, you know. In the Doesn't what have to describe aspect? Moves. He can just, I'm gonna spin you a tail! <laughs> the, the Irish aspect of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's green and talks funny, it's, that, that's enough for the basis. Right, okay, <laughs> I see. Oh yeah, anti-dermis. So... Anti-dermis? Anti-dermis is a material, uh... Antidermis was created by the great beings, in which they created a pool to contain it. In Matanui, he used the antidermis pool to create the Makuta species. I believe... Yeah, so the Paraka are made of antidermis. Basically, all the bad guys are made of antidermis, so they're made of antidermis. Mm. Evolved into a gaseous state that didn't need a body. <laughs> great. Yeah, Antidermis is kind of stupid. Uh, Protodermis. Energized Protodermis. That's what, um... <laughs> that's what the Toa Nuva are covered in. It's basically like super liquid metal. That's cool. Oh. Oh, oh. it's finally here. Oh, shit! Do you yeah, get like a magical it's... girl transformation sequence? Judge for yourself. <laughs> No, it's gonna, it's gonna be cool and epic, not gay. Gay and sissy. See? Cool and epic. And now it's his face. 
he becomes the Toa of Light. I am Takanuva, Toa of Light. <laughs> smite like thee, smite oh, thee. His, his weapon looks like the, the thing. The Coley stick, the yeah. The Great Spirit Robot. It housed the Matoran universe and was watched over by the Great Spirit Matanui himself before Teradax succeeded in his plan to control the universe. The robot was created by the great beings over a hundred thousand years ago. They sent Trenkron to watch over it. Matanui was born, watched over the universe while Trenkron was exiled to a barren island and fused to the rock in a cave. Matanui's mission was to learn about the external universe and then return to the Bionicle solar system and reunite Spherus Magna and the Brotherhood of Makuta and the Hand of Kara was created. Bro, you lost me about 45 seconds ago. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, sorry. What are... Basically, he's got to learn about shit so that he can uh, reunite Spherus Magnus and that that's it. The Spherus Magnus is basically like, just pretend... It, it's not Earth, but pretend it's Earth. Oh. And then a bunch of people fucking died. And there were no more humans left. It was just a bunch of robots fighting. Oh. And so the robots oh. were fighting against each other forever. And they created this giant super robot. Like the last six humans or whatever. Created this giant robot to reunite Spherus Magnus. And he did this by going around the universe learning about stuff. To educate himself. And these Matorans were just little robots to try and, you know, keep him alive and all that. But then shit got really fucked up because someone broke something. <laughs> to try and. Makuta tried to, you know, control the entire universe with this giant robot. complicated i was gonna say maybe maybe just like send a a nice little timeline chart in the chat and i'll i'll pick that up from there <laughs> oh yeah so the finale is they they play coley ball by the way oh yeah so the devil basically challenges him to a game of football uh, i guess that's in character oh yeah the baraki the fucking baraki oh Oh. Hmm. Wait, what? What is the? What is the the Baraki? The, the Baraki, the six great warlords, Baraki, uh, from eighty thousand years ago, have nothing to do oh. with anything. All you need to know is that right now they've mutated into weird fish people and they li are in prison at the bottom of the ocean forever. I'm just reading on Makuta's um backstory. I see you now. Why you said it like that? Yeah, okay, so Teradax, otherwise known as Makuta, who's the main guy here, he was basically uh, to be. He was created by the great spirit Matanui, and his job mm -hmm. was to create Rahi as needed. And, uh, yeah, and they were also in charge of taking care of the Matoran. He was specifically put in charge of the city of Metro Nui, and then some shit happened, and he got the idea of, like, hey, what if I revolt? against God himself. And so, he basically put Matanui to sleep. He put God to sleep. Yeah, he, he, he put in the minds of the Matoran that he was their real God. And then some shit happened, and then now they're on an island. And the great spirit robot, otherwise known as God, has a bunch of um, safety protections to, you know, stop shit like this from happening. A.K.A. the Toa. Mm. Just in case. Oh yeah, that that's a pool of Protodermis, by the way. That's the stuff the Toa are made out of? No, that's the stuff that Silver Armor is mm -hmm. made out of. It's basically like, Jesus metal. Okay, so um, just partially. Wait, I think it's Protodermis. Maybe this is, um, Antidermis. I, I'm, not, oh. I'm not sure if it's anti- Antidermis is like, Satan metal. Yeah, that's the what the rocks yeah. are made out of, right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, what... I mean, it looks like evil's fill, so I'm gonna bet on anti dermis but we'll see. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they fused together. <laughs> I forgot this is um, I forgot this was the solution. Jesus and Satan fused together to wake up God. That's what this is basically. And he's big baby shit now. You're a bit of a big baby shit yourself, mate. Yeah, that's why I relate to him. <laughs> And so that was Bionicle Mask of Light in a brief history introduction to the basic outline of Bionicle. Miss? Miss? Were you going to be tested on this? Yes. 100% of your grade for your entire degree will be based on this, actually. Oh, my degree, no. And you called it Bionicology? <laughs> Bionicology, thank you very much. Yeah. Cancer. Bio-oncology. I mean, basically, Matanui has cancer. Uh, the next part the next part of the story is basically that <laughs> Matanui is dying. <laughs> and uh, and it's the Paraka's fault. Not the Paraka's fault, but they're, they're making sure he dies. Hey, little robot kid. You know you're good. Yeah, he's got renal failure. Yeah. <laughs> and these fuckers are making sure it happens. <laughs> this is canon. What's next? Hmm? Is this something else? Morocco? It really is Baraka the rapper. Yeah. Baraka. So, so break, break down the canon portions of this besides just, uh... Uh, they're goofy yeah. motherfuckers. <laughs> they're fucking insane. Hold on, let me check Baraka lore real quick. So they're a group of six Skidati, which separated themselves from the Dark Hunters, you see. So shortly after Teradax, which is the main villain of the movie we just saw, who was calling himself Makuta, but Makuta are actually like a species sort of thing. Uh, it's comp a species slash group. <laughs> Makuta gets thrown around a lot. That's what you need to know. But uh, shortly after Teradax is defeated by Toa Takanuva, rumors began to circulate about his death. The six Sk Skadadi Dark Hunters, Hakan, Vexon, Zaton, Avak, Rakdak, and Thlok, decided to run off and investigate on their own, abandoning the Dark Hunters, instead calling themselves Paraka, Matoran word meaning thieves and murderers. Hence the rap and the, uh, like, prison <laughs> that's bars. What, that's what it was just about. <laughs> the guns. <laughs> this is where the, um, Baraki come in, which were those warlords that were sent, banished to the bottom of the ocean that I briefly mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the, this is where their story is, because they, so... Because Mata Nui is dying, they're basically going to the bottom of the ocean to just um, restart his heart. And the blue one, remember that little blue girl that we saw that was that was flirting with the other guy? Yeah. She's become the big. She's become the blue one in this one. I don't remember if Jala became the red. It's so yeah, the little little blasters. I believe this comes after the, yeah, Paraka. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bionicle, the best music, man. There's the Baraki. Oh, sick. Yeah. Oh. I've got two of them. They're cool. So these were actually the six warlords that uh, basically had, were in charge of the six kingdoms for a couple thousand years. That uh, ninety thousand years ago, uh, and then gods, then su then I think Mata Nui, either directly or indirectly, sent them to the bottom of the ocean where they mutated and become these freaks, <laughs> and now they're never allowed to come back to the surface. So yeah, that's the that's the Baraki. Yeah. <laughs> that's the this fucking early Thousands Rock is doing my head in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this song so many times on the radio, I just... I did not expect it to ever be paired with... Bionicle. Bionicle, of all things. Look, there's Harley. There's Jala from the movie. There they are. After all that, do you, do you, what, what do you... Do you have a newfound appreciation for the Bionicle movies lore? It would be nicer to be a bit more cohesive don't, I still don't follow the fucking timeline Try, I don't think there's very not, few people who actually understand what's going on in Bionicle lore I'll be honest 
pretty much the most solid points of the movies, the Flash game, and then everything Flash. after that gets... Yeah, the Flash games. So about two and a half hours worth of... Holy shit. So this... Cool. It's fucking solid. The entirety... This is the beginning, in terms of the story, of the lore. So all of the story is uh, pretty much told. All the initial story is through this. Everything before the first movie... You have to play this entire game in order to get it, basically. So it's this, the movie, the second movie, the third movie, and then, and then it gets kind of hard because there's no real, there's not like a flash game, there's not like a movie. It's just kind of random things. You know, there's a couple of Game Boy I games. I like my well. Lego Media when it was simple, when it was just clutch powers. Clutch Powers, baby! Clutch Powers, baby! The fir the real first Lego movie. We're no less confused than when we started. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, I'm I'm the end of that video title. No commentary. That's... Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'd fuck the crap. We're good. <laughs>